Okay, now that I have power to the board, you'll notice the power LED light is on. I can hook in the speakers for the line out jack. Again, the speakers are an optional item that either you provide or we sell. Um, another optional item is the cord for recording sound. This is a stereo to stereo cord that will allow us to go into the line in jack there and we can connect it to the line out on my computer, on my laptop. And we're all set and ready to record some sound to this. So right now I'm going to press the sound on my computer and start it playing and as we hear this sound playing all I want this time is the laugh so right before I hear the laugh I'm going to press and hold the record button through the laugh and then we'll be done recording that sound. I have a witch friend who lives at the beach. We call her the Sand Witch. She wasn't very good with a broom though. She kept flying off the handle. <laughs> I went to witch school myself for a while but I was really bad at Okay, so I recorded the laugh, so I should be able to press play. <laughs> and we hear the laugh, and every time I press play, we'll hear that laugh. So now if I was going to, that's in standard mode, so now every time this is triggered, I could hook the trigger wire up to the trig connection. Every time the wires on the trigger connect, and this would normally be done with a switch or something. <laughs> Every time they connect, we'll hear that sound that I recorded. Now I could also put this trigger header on the V-trig connection off to the side, and with that I could trigger through 5 volts, 9 through 12 volts, 24 volts, or 120 volts. So we've got several different triggering options there. Okay, so you saw how we recorded one message and then we were able to trigger it. Now we're going to go with the second message. So this time, I'm um, just going to record another message here. I used to date a ghost, but he was too much into the booze. Every time he had a drink, I had to get him up. I lost him one night in a fog. Now he's missed. Okay, so now we've got two messages on there. I just recorded that, so if I want to hear it, I, used I can to press the ghost. play button he was and hear it again. Into the booze. Every time he had a drink, I had to get him up. I lost him one night in the fog. Now he's missed. Okay, so now we have two messages. I'm going to press forward to go back to the first message. And I'm going to put this in the dual message mode. And what that does is it's going to play our first message over and over and over again until it gets a trigger. And then it will play that second message. So we should hear that laugh over and over again until I trigger it. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and trigger it. I used to date a ghost, but he was too much into the booze. So it starts playing that second message. As soon as it's done with that, it should go right back to the to the laughing. Now he's okay. Now the dual message mode. Um, that allows it to play the first message over and over again, and the second message it uh, goes to when it's triggered, and then it goes back to the first message and keeps going. We also have the multi-message mode, which on that one, every time it's triggered, it plays the next message. So we have two messages on here. So I'll put the shorting jumper on the multi-message. I'm just going to use a shorting jumper on the trigger. Okay, you'll notice that time it triggered, it played the laugh. This time it'll play I used to date a ghost. the second he was message. too much into the booze. Every time he had a drink, I had to get him up. 
I lost him one night in the fog. Now he's missed. Okay, and then it's done, and it's waiting for another trigger. If it gets triggered again, it's going to go back to the first message. Now, in multi-message mode, you could have as many messages as you can fit on your chip. On this 120, we have 80 seconds of this quality, so we could do eight 10-second messages if we wanted to, and it would loop through every one of those. Every time it's triggered, it would play one, then it'd stop. Next one, I'd play the next one, then the next one. Okay, another way of triggering this board is using a motion sensor. And with this motion sensor, this is our spot motion sensor. Uh, normally, this is on a two foot cable. This is only on a one foot, but normally it's on a two or a six foot cable. We also have another motion sensor, which is a wide angle motion sensor. These just plug right onto the motion header. I used the data ghost. And I'm going to take off the multi-message, even though it would work. It works just the same as a normal trigger. So now, if I trigger it, <laughs> every time I trigger it, I'm going to hear that laugh. <laughs> There's motion in front of the sensor. <laughs> Here's the laugh. So we can trigger it uh, from a switch, from a voltage, or from one of our motion sensors. Another option we have is, is the microphone, and I'll show how to record with it. And this microphone comes on a two-foot cable, and the white is the positive. So I'll plug that onto the board with the positive. I'll remove the mic line red shorting jumper. So now I'm using the microphone. And I'm going to turn off my speakers, so I'll get feedback when I record. But now if I want to record something, all I do is press record and speak into the microphone. Okay, so now I could play that back if I want. So you'll notice it's very easy to record using the optional microphone. We now have three messages on this board that we could flip through if we wanted to. Hopefully with that you've gotten a brief introduction into some of the uses of the recorder player board. And I'm sure you can think of a lot more. Thanks for watching.